Hello and welcome. I am Killer Monkey. This is HLG News. I am joined by my typical co-host. This is here. This is Matt here. Typical co-host here and veteran of the HLG Universe Clan. And this is like Firestorm Six One Eight from HRU. And this and is Captain Snapping Turtle. A random right. dude. A random from my band. You have to wear the most embarrassing armor possible. <laughs> hey, shut up. Pink elites are awesome. I would know. I was one to remember. Yeah, but you're you were just gay when you did that. <laughs> shut up. All right. So, what do we have to talk about today? Well, obviously, E3 just had an idea. What do you want to talk about first? Like, what, is there any specific game you want us to touch like, touch on first? Um, since we're start starting with Microsoft. Oh, uh, we're starting oh, with Microsoft. Microsoft. Okay, okay, that's that's fine. Um, All right. Well, how about the oldest of all of the old news, Gears 3? Oh, yeah. Uh, basically, there wasn't really anything new. There was a new... It was just, like, more gameplay showing off another boss. Um, what I did happen to, uh, what was his name, Ice-T made an appearance there, and he, like, butchered the name of the hard mode. He called it horror mode. He tried to correct himself, and like, really messed up. It just, like, butchered the name. It was funny, though. Um, I heard people talking about how he tweeted a picture before the event of like his hot girlfriend in his Lamborghini and it was just like entitled to all the haters. <laughs> just like his girlfriend lying on his Lamborghini. It's pretty funny. Anyway, uh, yeah, they didn't really necessarily anything new, just another more gameplay and I'm still excited for Gears 3. Especially the new Xbox, limited edition Xbox I'm Gears coming out. Definitely excited for Gears 3. I've played through both opinions. Uh, I'm kind of just looking forward to, you know, stepping on people again, you know, I'm, I've uh, played a game a couple times, not, not a big player of Gears, I guess, but I enjoy it a lot. Uh, wait, 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 uh, um, before you, you continue for yourself, can I just say something? Did anyone see the, um, hard mode briefing trailer that was put up? I did not. I did, uh, yeah. It, yeah, basically the hard mode is a lot more advanced this time. There are, like, in-game defensive, like, you can get, uh, laser, like, little barriers and stuff to protect yourself. You can set up turrets, and you can actually trade weapons and points now, something that we've wanted game modes like Zombies and Call of Duty to do for a long time, which is really oh, cool. Yeah. yeah, so you can, like, so if your partner's in need of help, you can give them some points, or maybe even a weapon. And, um, well, here's the biggest thing. I think it's after every five or ten rounds, there's a boss... Uh, Locus, that you can get a Brumog, a Corpser, just like one of the main, like, one of the big guys. I don't even call them Brumogs. Uh, uh, the, whole, the whole way through Gears 2, I started calling them Rancors. <laughs> Why? They resemble, to me, they resemble Rancors, and it was yeah. just easier to remember. But at yeah. the end, the Lambent one, I was like, Lambent Rancor! <laughs> I, I almost cried, I was just looking at this thing. I know. Oh yeah, that's another thing. The Lambent are back, but even tougher. Like, there's a Lambent Berserker. Remember how tough the Berserker was in Gears of War 1? How the hell have I taken on was, this Lambent? I was actually upset that there were no Berserkers in Gears 2. Yeah, but that's was completely bringing it back. I mean, this time even the freaking Hammer of Dawn can kill it, so what the hell can? Let's move on to the next subject, okay? Yeah, let's, yeah. let's move on now. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I think let, let's come back to Halo 4 because everyone has oh, Halo 4 to the end. Oh. They have Halo 4 to Lear. As we all know, the Sony panel at E3 got hacked, so. Uh... <laughs> Yo, can I just say something on that quickly? Yeah. <laughs> have you watched the press conference? They, they didn't even put it to say. The, the guy came out, he was very sincere. He said, I'm not going to start talking because we all know there's that elephant in the room. And he started apologizing for. PSN being there, and he looked very humble about it, like saying we're sorry for everything that's happened. We would do yeah, our best to stop any it. effort from this happening again. So that was really cool, like they didn't just ignore that and try to ignore the stuff. Are you anyway. Just, are you dancing? Can I please just start talking to the Wii U about this <laughs> happening? I'm, so, I'm sorry, what, what are you trying to talk about? <laughs> Alright, I'll start talking to the Wii U again. Alright, basically, um, in, well, if you look at this new console, Nintendo has really gone off the floor and almost passed Xbox and PS3 standards. It's adding HD support, an extremely innovative new controller, which kind of looks, it looks like a mix of like an iPad and a Wiimote, but it actually looks really well done. 
like people say, who try to say this, will you go away? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is what I normally do. Anyway, <laughs> um, if you watch the trailer, you see there's a whole bunch of features. It's got web browsing. Uh, you can actually use it as like. I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> Is it okay if I just don't cut that out? Because this is actually amazing. Yeah, keep it in. Just, I, after all these years, my karma's catching up to me for doing that. Alright, alright, alright. I'm, anyway, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna exit the door and make those spinning around. Intriguing me. Okay, um... Oh, damn it. Okay, that so does it intriguing you and make you want to throw grenades at it? Yes. <laughs> hey, Whenever something interests me, I'm out of having to attack. <laughs> Um, okay, one cool go. thing is it that... It excites him and frightens him at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Alright. One, one part of the trailer... There was like a, one thing that confused a lot of people though is that they didn't actually show the new console, they only showed the controller, so like everyone was puzzled as to whether or not what was going on, because they said HD support, but the normal Wii can't support HD, but there are pictures of the new console, you just have to look them up. Anyway, one thing that's really interesting to me is that the controller itself looks like it could surpass um, Kinect. Like, there was a part of the trailer where someone puts it on the ground and, like, stands above it and, per like, does, like, a golf motion swing and it actually, like, transfer, like, it actually shows it. Well, I'll explain the controller first. It's basically a lot like an iPad mixed with, like, buttons, sort of like a PSP, except just a lot bigger. And then um, it streams the gameplay you see on screen to the controller. And one cool thing of the trailer was that I swear to <laughs> God. Arbiter, just talk, please. Yeah. And um, so ignore. one fun part of the trailer was that the like he was just like it was a first person kind of like a guy walking through his house. He walks into the room, sees the guy playing the Wii U. He's like, hey, baseball's on. So he changes the channel, but the guy playing the Wii U could like look at his um his controller and still play the game even though the channel is switched. So basically sure. Nintendo had just made an excuse for kids to not have to ever stop playing consoles now. <laughs> Great job Nintendo. Good job. Which, as, as, as bad as it is to feed children so much you know, electronic entertainment stuff, it is pretty brilliant. Yeah. Wise. And um, uh, with the console itself, it's, the graphics look amazing, like up to Xbox stand, at Xbox and PS3 standards of like 1080p HD. One thing that's really got me though is that they've got a lot of support from different companies, like Ubisoft, like all like all these big companies have supported them and are even releasing their games to the Wii U. Like the new Assassin's Creed is going to come out on that. Maybe I think Battlefield 3 is as well. EA supporting them all the way. That is really impressive. When they um, make a, when they make a motion sensitive thing that will work with like first person shooters, then I'll be impressed. Yeah. Because That's what I'm liking though, they're not... Because not that the, the idea of like, with, like doing all the reloading and meleeing and stuff is cool, but it's gonna get old really fast, having to do all of that like, yeah. live action. Don't look to your right, by the way. Anyway. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not done yet, wait, there's just a few more things. Um, the Wii U itself, it can act, you can actually use the new controller, or you can use just normal Wii controllers, which is pretty cool. One thing that's kind of disappointing is that they're dropping GameCube support. I don't know if you can still use GameCube controllers, they just said that you will play Expo uh, GameCube games on it, so there's a chance we can still use our GameCube controllers on it. Which would, would be fun. Um, it's gonna have, like, be able to connect to 3DS's, just like the Wii can connect to normal DS's. Uh, <laughs> Shoo. Shoo. Yeah, so people are like really getting impressed by Nintendo. They've really came off their feet since the last two years of being behind Microsoft and Sony and like really got their head off the ground. So I've, I've got the high hopes that... Oh, and also they have now, like, if you watch the end of the trailer, they show on screen a bunch of new games coming out. There's Mario Party 9... <coughs> I have a really bad cold. Zelda, just a bunch of games that people are excited for. Uh, and also, right afterwards, they just announced a bunch of 3DS games like Luigi's Mansion 2. Uh, oh, Cur the new Kirby game. Kirby, the new Kirby game looks awesome. That's what like Kirby's epic yarn should have been. It looks great. 
Uh, now, now, snapping turtle and firestorm appear to be having some sort of yeah. mating control. Uh, there's one more thing about the Wii U. The controller itself has web browsing now, and the ball player is going to be ten times better than it was in the Wii. No more of this stupid friend code nonsense. Just all, just, just like Xbox style, uh, style just well working. So I'm excited for that as well. So, Smash well, from that, it seems that Nintendo's finally moved out of its little hole. Um, yeah. I'm, They're really I'm trying. Hopeful, but most I, like I have one thing to say about this, actually. Yeah. I like the fish in Zelda. They're nice. I do like the fish in Zelda. Except the skeleton, like the skeleton fish things in the Zora's temple, they would never bite the line when I put it in there. I know! They would just attack me. Ooh, can I just talk about a few games that people are anticipating for the Wii U? Just, just quickly, there's only like oh, three please. or four games. I just, wanna, I just wanna say their oh, names. I think, I think we're done talking about the Wii. I think, please, I think you okay. like these games. Please. I think Yoshi, uh, I think you should be done with Yoshi now, okay? I think Yoshi please. needs to be hanged at this point. <laughs> just, just three games, three games in particular, Fine. okay? Go. Okay. Go. Um, it's, high, it's highly ambitious that there's gonna be a Mario Galaxy free for the Wii U. And uh, Pikmin free. Big Free's been announced fully now, that I'm excited for that game. Uh, Mario Kart Wii U, that will be amazing, I hope. And Super Smash Bros. That's all I wanted to say. Those four games I'm really excited for and want to maybe get a Wii U. There, I'm done. You happy? Okay, Matt, yes. No, I'm not happy. <laughs> that was really long. Asshole. Okay, next. Alright. Next issue. Next issue. Um, HLG, everyone thinks it's dead. It's not dead. It's everyone not dead. dead. It's been stabbed yet, but it's just kind of bleeding out. It's not even bleeding out yet. <laughs> you you would be amazed, Arbiter. When you see this clip, all right. I'm if I can slap you right here. now with these bad hands, I would slap you with my zombie fist. I would. Do this. I can punch your little freaking Spartan head do into it, your do chest. It, do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, 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 o